Hi everyone, I'm very happy to announce that we now have three different ways for you to automatically assign leads to your agents. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the three different ways that you can do this. One of them we've always had, and that's assigning leads to agents based upon map location. So you can automatically assign leads to your agents based upon the property address and areas that are assigned to your individual agents. If this setting is set to on, which you would set right here, you must assign a location to each of your agents from the Manage Agents section. Now, we've covered this before in another video that's also on our YouTube channel. It's called Auto Signing Leads Based Upon Map Location. So, if you don't know how to do this, I'm going to suggest that you head over to our YouTube channel and you can watch the five-minute video on how to do this. Okay, so that's, that has always been there and that's always been an option for you to automatically assign leads to your agents. Now, though, we have two brand new ways for you to automatically assign leads to your agents. The first one is the feeding frenzy, and the second one is to assign leads to your agents automatically by the round robin. So, first thing I want to go over with you is to get to, this, uh, to, get to these options, you would go to settings and then options for assigning leads, which is at the bottom of the right-hand column. Only one of these options can be on at a time. All right, so you can only have either assigning leads to uh, automatically assign leads to agents by map location, by feeding frenzy, or round robin. Only one can be on at a time. You cannot have more than one on at any given time. So, like we went over, the first option is assigning leads to agents by map location. If you want to turn that on, you just click on, and then you would click save. Okay, you have to remember to click the green save button, or it's not going to go through. All right, so now let's go over the feeding frenzy. So what the feeding frenzy is, when this setting is set to on, you can choose from the agents that you have set up in your agents menu, who will then be eligible for the feeding frenzy. So if we go to agents, manage agents, it will open this page. So these are all the agents that you have set up in your prime seller leads back end area, okay? So you can only choose agents that are set up in your agents menu. Those are the only agents that will be eligible. So if, if you want to add uh, more agents to either the feeding frenzy or the round robin, they must be set up as agents in your prime seller leads back end. So any agents then, uh, so how the feeding frenzy works is that any agents that are chosen to be a part of the feeding frenzy will automatically be sent a notification email whenever a new lead becomes available. The first agent to claim or accept that lead will then have the lead placed into their agent admin back end. All of the other agents will not receive that lead. Okay, and also a special note, you as the master admin can set a limit on the total number of leads that any one agent can claim in any given 24 hour period. So let's go through how this works. So the first thing you would do if you want to use the feeding frenzy is to click on. The next setting is going to be the daily claim limit. So you can say that any one particular unique agent cannot claim more than one lead in a day, five leads in a day, 10 leads in a day, 100 leads in a day. You can choose whatever you would like. Okay, so you can set that number because as we all know, there's going to be certain agents that are going to be more aggressive than others. And if given the opportunity, they're going to claim all of the leads that they possibly can. All right. The next setting is the auto accept. You can either have that set to on or off. And basically what that means is, let me show you here. So on the main lead page, there's a column for the status of the lead. Okay. If the auto accept is turned to on, when the lead is accepted by the agent, it will automatically be set to accepted. If the auto accept is turned off, the agent themselves would then have to automatically, they would have to manually accept that lead. So I'm going to leave it to auto accept on. The next step is going to be to select the agents that then would be a part of the feeding frenzy. So I'm going to remove all these and show you how it's done. All you have to do is click inside the select agents box and then all of the agents, okay, in the list that are set up under agents will then populate this list. So you can see we have five of them. And if we go back here to select agents, all five of them are here. So all we have to do is just select the agents that we want to be a part of the feeding frenzy. Okay. 
Once that's done, just click Save. Remember, that's the most important part. Click Save when you're done. So now, the feeding frenzy is on. So what will happen is, any new leads that come in, all four of these agents will automatically receive an email from the system letting them know that there's a new lead. The first agent that logs in to their, back, to their agent backend administrative area and claims that lead will then own that lead. They'll take it. And then that lead will not be available for any other agents. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So here's a trick that many of you might not have known. You as the master admin can log in as any of your agents, okay, from the, the agent screen. So if we go to agents, manage agents, here are the agents that are listed. We can log in from this screen into any of your agents, master, you know, agents backend admin area for prime seller leads. And the way you would do that is in the actions column, there's an icon here with like a lock and a key on it. Okay, if you click that, you will log in to your agent's account as the agent in a new window. All right, so now here we're logged in as this agent. So that the agent that we locked in, we logged in as was me, Josh Grund. I have myself set up as an agent. In the top right hand corner, we can see it says unclaimed leads with the number six. That means there's six leads that are available in the feeding frenzy. So all of the agents received an email notification that there was a lead available for each one of these people, each one of these lead names, and any of the agents can log in to accept it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to, well, let's take me. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the lead with my name, Josh Grund. Okay, so you can see this number then changed from six to five. So now there's five leads available with the feeding frenzy. And that lead then has been assigned to me. Okay, so that's how it works. So that's how the feeding frenzy works. So now let's move on to the next one, the round robin. So I'm going to turn the feeding frenzy off and I'm going to turn the round robin on. And I'm just going to save it to set the round robin to being on. So here's how the round robin works. When this setting is set to on, you can choose from any of the agents, again, that you have set up in your agents menu, who will then be eligible for the round robin. Any agents chosen for the round robin can then be placed in the order that they will receive leads. So the agent in the first position will automatically be assigned lead number one, the agent in the second position will automatically be assigned lead number two, and the agent in the third position will automatically be assigned lead number three, and so on and so forth. Once the last agent in the round robin has automatically been assigned a lead, the rotation will start over again at the beginning with agent number one who is in that number one position. So if the auto accept is set to on, which it is right now, leads are automatically accepted by the agent assigned to the leads. If the auto accept is turned to off, so let's go ahead and do that, leads need to then be accepted by your agents in their admin backend area by the time to accept that's been set for the round robin. So for example, if the time to accept is set to zero days and four hours, which would basically mean within four hours a lead would have to accept a lead, then your agents would need to accept those leads within four hours or else the lead would then be taken away from that agent and assigned to a next agent in the rotation for the round robin. Okay. So to, uh, again, select agents that would appear here in the round robin, again, we simply click in the select agents field and we choose the agents that have been set up in the agents backend. So we've gone ahead and done that here. Now, next to all of these agent names, you can set a maximum amount of leads that you want that individual agent to receive during any given day or 24 hour period. So for example, if the, max, if the number is set to two, then that agent will only receive a maximum of two leads per day. After receiving the maximum amount of leads for that day, the agent will be skipped for the rest of that day in the round robin lead rotation. So you can set these numbers here to whatever you want. So uh, for Jackson Bulldog here, we can go ahead and we can set his uh, maximum lead number for the round robin for any given day to four. And we'll leave Josh Grund at 10. And, you know, we can change any of these to any number because every agent's going to be different. 
some agents, their pipelines may be very full and they only want to work a very small amount of leads each day. So you have the ability to control that. So now the last setting would be, I want you to just note that we have this field here for lead rotation hours, okay? Um, these times are in 24-hour or military time format that are for your time zone. If you only want leads to be automatically assigned to your agents by the round robin, so let's say during the times of 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. local time, then you would go ahead and set the times from you know, 0900 to 2100 hours. So we would just do that like this. Okay, and then we would just again save it. So then during the hours of 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning, leads will not automatically be assigned by the round robin. They won't automatically be assigned at all. Okay, they'll just sit there. But then, again, starting at 9 a.m. or 0900 military time, the leads will again start to be automatically assigned by the round robin. And the reason we do that is it's very simple. Um, let's say that you have uh, the time to accept for your agent set. So let's say you have the auto accept off, and then you have the time to accept set at, uh, let's say, three hours. You're going to be very aggressive with it. So if a lead came in at midnight, that's not exactly fair to your agents that they would only have till 3 a.m. to accept that lead. You know, most agents are going to be sleeping during those hours. So um, by having and setting the lead rotation hours to between, you know, hours when people are awake, you're making it a little more fair. You're under no obligation, though, to do so. It's, it's your choice. If you want the lead rotation to be 24 hours, um, you would just set uh, the lead rotation hours from midnight until 23.59 or 11.59 at night. So hopefully this works well for you. Uh, if you have any questions at all on this, please let us know. I'm always here to help. Uh, any of our staff are here to help. And hopefully this works well for everyone.